Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we have a big surprise for you, and I've had a few of you ask for another kingdom, which I thought would be a little bit complicated, but I had this great idea to incorporate it into this storyline. So here we have Prince Jared, and for those of you who have seen the other episodes, Prince Jared is in love with Nina, who is a girl who does not come from a very wealthy family. Um, and so we have Prince Jared in his little suit right there. It looks like he just came back from work. He is trying to um, up his political standing and, and to do very well in the political career. His brother, Prince Adrian, seems to be having a mood swing, swing at the moment. Uh, so it seems like he's just breaking down in front of him and Prince Jared is just kind of Happy, go lucky, whatever. So in the last episode, I mentioned that we do have a new kingdom. So we are doing, um, we have made the kingdom of Brindleton Bay. So in this story, we have Prince Jared and his uncle, King George, have discovered Brindleton Bay and have been secretly working on um, just, uh, what's it called? Oh, on developing it. And they've made a, a new kingdom, a castle with the help of some friends. So we are going to go ahead and travel to our new kingdom so you guys can have a look and um, we are also going to have Prince Jared he is going to bring Nina to this new kingdom so he can kind of surprise her and, and show it to her so he is planning on where is it oh uh, Brindleton Bay. So he's planning on proposing to her actually. So what we will, as you guys can see, so the Fang family, so they are the ones who have been helping us develop uh, Brindleton Bay, the kingdom of Brindleton Bay. So once we have our kingdom set and in place, they have been promised the type the titles of Duke and Duchess. So basically we're going to move in some um, other people to be like the Earl and to be the Marquis and all of that. Uh, and, and they're going to be, we have a few family members, like they're the daughters and sons of the noble family who aren't quite heir to the thrones. And usually they'll just meet, marry another heir. But if, if there's no other heirs left to marry, they kind of just like become normal, I guess. Like they're the poor relations of the noble family. So we are going to give them the chance to start uh, to be a noble family here. So that's just kind of the out of the kindness of Prince Jared and King George's heart. Um, so we are going to have them do that, but we'll establish that later on once we actually have our king and queen established here, which hopefully will be Prince Jared and Nina. So he is going to propose to her. He is going to bring her to this lot. So we are going to travel with her and this is going to be, so he's just kind of saying like, I have a surprise for you. He's taking her to this random place that she's never been. I mean, because Brindleton Bay, they would have discovered, they would have have, I mean, they've quickly developed all this land and um, homes and all of this for them to move in. And this is also going to be our new castle that they would move in. So he's just going to show her the castle and show her that this would be th their new home if she said yes to him when he proposes. So here we are at our new kingdom and Nina has not been very happy lately because she, I mean, she's just been very upset because since they have told the king and queen of Oasis Springs, um, Prince Jared's parents, they, I mean, they were just, they did not take it well at all. So Nina doesn't even know if they're going to end up together. So she's wondering where the heck Prince Jared has brought her. So he is showing this castle to her right now. Um, I wish I probably should have brought you guys here during the daytime so you could see it better. But I downloaded this from the gallery and I'm going to put this in the description as well. But look at this gorgeous castle. It's amazing. I love it so much. It is beautiful. It's I, It needs some remodeling inside because I think it only has like a few bedrooms and, and we are going to need a lot of bedrooms. But I mean, can, I mean, oh gosh, it's just, it's the most beautiful thing ever. I, we're going to just like do a small tour so you guys can see everything. So we'll just slowly kind of go into this castle as I talk to you guys. Um, so this would be their home. This would be their new home. 
Prince Jared. Um, I mentioned this in the last episode. I don't think I've mentioned it yet here. So Prince Jared has been doing this with his uncle, King George. And King George has been doing this because he wants Prince Jared to sort of guarantee that one of, I guess, the heir to the throne for Prince Jared, whoever his heir to the throne is, would marry one of King George's grand uh, grandkids. So that way, uh, King George can just kind of guarantee... Oh, this is unfinished, and there needs to be wallpaper added here. Um, but that way, King George can guarantee that he is going to have a successful lineage. He just wants all the best for his family and for his grandkids and for his kids. So, of course, he wants, like, his kids to be taken care of. Um, I don't think he has a preference on which kid or grandkid marries um, into the throne because he already knows that some of his grandkids, at least one of them, is going to be the heir to this throne. But if they were to marry one of Prince Jared's kids, then he would have like two two grandkids who are rulers of a kingdom, which is amazing. So he is just thinking the best for that. So that is kind of what he made Prince Jared promise um, when he talked to him about making this new kingdom. I'm not sure how I feel about the yellow in this. I think the whole theme of this um, this castle was gold, but it just it looks like I think it's just the counters that bother me. I guess the and and those cabinets as well. The curtains are okay. The chairs are okay. It's just the yellow. Yellow it doesn't look like gold. It just looks like yellow. So we'll have to see. So, I mean, we've made it through most of this castle right now. It's just, like, look how beautiful this is. They did amazing with the detail on, especially just the outside of the castle. I think this is gorgeous. So, I'm excited. Um, we are going to have, he's not going to propose quite yet, um, mostly because it's nighttime and I want it to be daytime when he proposes. Um... So, well, I don't know. I guess he can. Nah, I'm gonna wait. So he's just going, he's just showing her this now. And I'm just going to like fast forward a little bit. I mean, she might end up leaving, but that's, that's fine. Yeah, she's really sad. And I guess it is because of the whole fight with his parents and everything. So we'll fix that soon though. So he is, I guess, Yes, just showing this to her now. I don't think he would tell her yet. I think the whole surprise of telling her is that he would also propose to her. And Nina loves animals. So, I mean, the gift for this is that, like, this is the animal world. So I think she's going to be really excited about this. This house right here is reserved for Nina's parents. So he has, um, well actually just for her mom because unfortunately her father did pass away. So this is reserved for her mother. Actually, you know what? He might even have her mom just move in with them because she doesn't have too much time left and when she moves in she would get to spend a lot more time with her grandkids. So maybe, maybe we will just do that instead. Ooh, okay, we have 24 hours to pay our bills, so why don't we go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to wait until the sunrise for him to propose. Hopefully Nina will stay that long, too, um, so we can actually propose to her. So why don't pay bills? $695. Why is that? No. That's it? There's no way. Seriously? Oh my gosh, the bills for the Kingdom of Windenburg are, like, over $30,000. That's crazy. That's nice. Okay. So, um, oh, uh-oh. Prince Jared has gotten a new fame quirk, a phone fanatic. That's not good. Okay, so, uh, I just, yeah, I mean, you guys, if you have this world, you already know what it looks like, so I don't have to worry too much about showing this to you. It did, uh, yeah, it does look like Nina has left, so we're going to bring her back here. Okay, so I have brought Nina back here, and of course it's raining right now. Um, what else would it be? So I, I brought Nina back here. Um, I'm going to try, well, maybe we should call her over first, and then I'm going to try to cheer her up. So I don't think you guys have seen her since we have updated all her clothing and everything. So basically, 
Prince Jared has bought her a bunch of really nice clothes because he's the prince and he has a lot of money. So Nina doesn't come from a very wealthy family, so he decided to do this for her. Um, I think Nina, like, she's not that she is completely comfortable with her poor clothes and, and okay with them. I think she definitely wants to make a good impression and dress for the part. She just didn't have the money to. So, I mean, this is um, her new dress, and I think it's very nice because it's very fitting for the Kingdom of Oasis Spring. So she has talked to the queen a few times, and, and the king, uh, since the whole debacle happened with telling them everything. And they just kind of, I mean, not there's they're still not impressed just because of where she comes from and everything so it looks like we have they've actually lost some of their romantic relationship um oh it looks like the lottery's today all right well they've they've lost a little bit of their romantic relationship i think just with the arguing and with the um, I, they just haven't been getting, not, they're not getting along, just she's been having so many doubts about this working out, and he didn't tell her about the new kingdom because he wanted to surprise her with it, so we're just going to have to bring that up a little bit, which is fine, we can do that. So, why is she uncomfortable right now? Oh, there are some paparazzi taking pictures of us, for sure. So, why don't we try to get away from them? Oh, her, his dad's here. Nope, you guys gotta go. You guys gotta go home. That's not good. They, Prince Adrian is probably trying to tell him. Oh, uh-oh, it looks like he failed. It looks like he was trying to make him, his dad go home. Um... But, well, they are going home. Um, okay, so I want Prince Jared to bring Nina down to the beach. So is there any way we can go there together? I want, like, the beach on this side, though. I like this side better. Can we go here together? Um, yes, we can. We can go there together. Um, so we are going to go ahead to the beach. So here now he's finally telling her, like, this all is for you. I've made all of this for you. I've made this entire kingdom for you. Um, of course, with the help of his uncle, which she can thank him later as well. And all of this is, is just for her. And it's because he wants to be with her. And oh, no, nope, we're going to take time off. Um, and because he doesn't want anything to stop them from being together. So we're going to tell the paparazzi to go home. If we can, he's going to try to pose for paparazzi. Is that flirty for her? for her, or is that just, uh, that's weird. Okay, um, ask paparazzi to leave. And then, where is Nina? She is supposed to be here, too. Kind of can't do this without her. All right, she's coming. So, we can, all right, she did go. All right, the paparazzi went away. Nina is here. So, Nina, come hither. We have a little bit of a surprise for you. It looks like she's, like, dripping wet from the rain. I'm going to do um, kiss. She's uncomfortable, probably from the rain. I think that's from the rain. Okay, do uh, kiss hands so he can finally tell her this this is because I love you. I just think this is really cute. And I'm excited that he's finally going to propose. She is still, like, not in the best mood ever. We should probably have her be in a better mood. Once he tells her this, she would be in a great mood, though. So, uh, why don't we hold hands? Oh, gosh. All right, I'm excited. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right. More choice. No, what's going on? What are you doing? Okay, so we're flirting with her. She's definitely in a better mood now. Um, they're holding hands. And we are going... No, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. There we go. So now, I just want a really good view for when he proposes. Oh my gosh, so he's finally told her, like, please be my queen of this new kingdom. Um, and on the beach, too. This is really, really cute. Oh, I'm excited. 
I'm excited to start another kingdom. I was nervous because I thought it would just be really confusing, but no, now I'm really excited. I think that having four kingdoms will be really great because um, I was having kind of issues with like, like when one of the princesses and princess want to marry someone from another kingdom, but like usually in each generation they're related to at least one kingdom, so they can't. So maybe now we won't have that problem, so we'll have to see. So awesome. Okay, so now they are engaged and they are actually going to do, they're not going to do a big wedding because, I mean, his parents would have to pay for most of the wedding and obviously he has a lot of money, but all of his money has pretty much gone into this new kingdom, so he's invested in that. Is he angry? No, okay, he's not. I was like, wait, what the heck? Um, so he has spent most of his money on the kingdom, so they're pretty much just going to a loaf. Um, and I think we're just going to invite a bunch of friends to, like, the lighthouse area in Brindleton Bay and have, like, the archway and everything there, so they'll elope, um, like that. So we'll do that in a few episodes because we have to go back to Princess Alice because I'm pretty sure she's about to pop. Um, and have her baby pretty soon. So we'll have to do that first. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, uh, share, comment, make any suggestions. Turn on your notifications. Oh, now we're just going to see a beach. Um, turn on your notifications so you can... Oh, it's talking to paparazzi. Um, turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I come out with a new video. I'm still trying to do a regular schedule for you guys, so um, I'll definitely try to do that soon. But we will see you guys the next episode.